We are on Leswin Road today to show you an exceptional family house. It's a four bed, two bath. The current owners moved in in 2017. They spent nine months on a significant renovation project. I'm gonna walk you through some of the works they've done. I'll talk to you about some of the potential they've left for the next owners too. So if you follow me in, I'll show you around. Okay, so straight into the hallway and I'll take you through to the reception room. And it's a lovely big room, beautiful original floorboards, huge sofa, plenty of space for other seats too. The original bay has been kept, the windows are replaced so they're wood sash double glazed and a nice radiator in keeping with the period. This is a restored fireplace that the owners had put in. It's a gorgeous piece and then plenty of storage either side too. I'll take you through to the rear half of the reception. So another really good space. Again, lots of storage either side of the chimney stack. Beautiful restored fireplace. Space for a piano too. Formerly these would have been two separate rooms. This would have been the dining room, uh, but the owners have opened this up to allow the light through and also to allow it flow through to the kitchen much, much better. So what an amazing space this is. The majority of the focus for the renovation project was spent on this room alone. Previously would have been almost half the width and about two thirds the length. What the owners have done is gone the full width of the property with the extension, obviously got the glass roof to allow the, the light in and they've gone further out of the back to give you a really generous dining space too. The bill has actually dug down a little bit to give you this incredible ceiling height. These ceilings must be 11, maybe 12 feet high. And then they finished it with a beautiful bespoke kitchen. I'll talk you through the kitchen in a bit more detail. So you've got these beautiful white countertops that contrast the dark cupboards. On the island, there's plenty of space underneath for seating. You've got a large double fridge on this side, double melee oven. In the island, there's space underneath for a full-size dishwasher. And on this side, you've got a Baratza five ring gas hob. The sink is complete with an insincorator and instant hot tap. And I'll lead you through this way. Full-size wine fridge, the essentials. Really good size dining tables, perfect for entertaining. Worth pointing out this hook that the owners have left so you can rehang the pendant and flip the dining table the other way around if that's your preference. Then down towards the garden, you've got more cupboard space, built-in shelving, and a very sweet window seat for reading your favorite book. Coming through these sliding doors into the garden, believe it or not, this is real grass. Got really nice borders here too, finished with horizontal slatted fencing. The garden's quiet and actually not overlooked at all. So it's a really nice space to spend sunny days. The sun will come up on my left here and sweep round and you're not blocked off at all on the south side. So it's a real sun trap when the sun is out. Space for dining, space for lounging. And then the owners have put spotlights in so you can entertain well into the evening. Now, usually homeowners, when they choose to extend, will go for the side return kitchen extension, much like we're standing in now. And they'll also go for the double loft extension, which is extending into the front loft, often with a dormer or mansard loft extension. And sometimes the rear loft, which is called the pod or outrigger extension. Very, very few will dig down into the basement space. Excavating is very expensive and it's also a really filthy job to do. Significant structural works. The owners here chose to dig down. So they've excavated the basement, they've re-supported, they've done substantial damp proofing works and they've created an amazing space. If you follow me, I'll show you. Great, so this is what the owners have created. Follow me in. Now we are underneath the reception room and the hallway. So this is a full width room. Really big space, probably eight and a half, nine foot ceilings down here. Now it's a dull day. The sun certainly hasn't come 
around to the front of the house yet, but you can still see how good the light levels are in here. It's a perfect playroom as the current owners are using it for, but it could also be a very good home office for those remote working, a great chill out area, home cinema, you could get some gym equipment in here. So it's a very, very handy space. It would double up as an exceptional guest room because the owners have put a stunning ensuite shower room down here. And there's also a very handy utility space with a washer, a dryer, a sink, which helps keep the rest of the house tidy. So a couple of things that we haven't mentioned yet. You've got underfloor heating in both the bathrooms and there are four nest heating zones around the property. There's also three skylights up on the first floor that the owners have put in and they're electric thankfully so you don't need a long pole or a ladder you can control them all from the landing let me take you through to the master bedroom which is on the first floor it's a beautiful room full width bespoke wardrobes have plenty of space for your clothes large windows that frame the tree beautifully. Obviously space for home working and large enough space for a bed as well. So some of the potential the owners have left for the new owners or next owners is the loft extension. You've got big pitched loft above us here. You can do the dormer extension and there's a good size rear loft too. So you can do the pod or outrigger extension. Both of course are subject to necessary planning consents. There's precedent on the street, so you should be fine. Now this is a classic Victorian layout, so good sized middle room, which is currently their son's room. And we've got the third bedroom and bathroom just along the hallway. So along the hallway, we've got the third bedroom and bathroom. That's worth noting as we come through that the owners have actually vaulted these ceilings. So they've taken out the suspended ceiling. They've gone right up to the loft pitch and put these skylights in. So the house is nice and bright all day. Leswin, Darvel and Be uh, Baston Road all benefit from east-west aspects. You get nice morning sun and nice afternoon sun. What the skylights do is bring through that midday sun too. So it's a really bright house all day. Right through to the bathroom. So really classic design, Victorian fixtures and fittings, metro tiles, a nice monochrome finish. Lastly, the fourth bedroom. So we're in the back of the property above the kitchen, really good sized room. What the owners have actually done is pinch some of the bathroom space to make a bigger third bedroom. It hasn't compromised the bathroom at all. And then they have vaulted the ceilings to give you that feeling of space, put the spots in. Again, wood sash double glazed window and the skylight bringing through the midday sun. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Make sure you tell us what your favorite part about this house is in the comment section below and stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more awesome properties.